go. Hello everyone, you are watching UKSG Green 2024. This event, we're raising money for Crisis. Now we got Viper running House of the Dead 4. Hopefully this run features a different type of fire. Yes, <laughs> hopefully. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, so uh, this is the House of the Dead 4, released for PS3. I'm gonna just jump into run, so I might as well get ready on time. If Tech could start the time of farm, it would be great. Um, yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, go. I go and go. There. there we go. Pressed the wrong friggin' button, didn't I? Right, there is a story, but rather than me um, do my own thing here, I'm actually gonna let Cherry go nuts, because I believe I have a crap ton of donations, so just go for it. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> All right, so we have some donations regarding the uh, fire incident. <laughs> So we have a $25 donation from Mintopia. Fire, fire, fire. Please come quickly. Yours sincerely, Mintopia. That was going towards Turnip Boy commits tax evasion, any percent pet the orange dog, which we have met with $265. <laughs> we also have $10 from QKazer, but this run is fire. Uh, <laughs> Ten dollars from Fireman Sam. Poppity ping there, Fireman. Poppity ping there. Fireman Sam here saying thank you for evacuating the venue in a calm and orderly manner. <laughs> that was going towards Grand Theft Auto 3 Any Percent upgrade to upgrade to Titan thrice, which we are uh, 246 dollars out of the required thousand to meet that incentive. You got any more? <laughs> yeah, we we got one that, ju that we got go, one that go. recently came. We got a sixty-nine dollar do dollar donation that recently came in from Robo Sparkle saying, "Hey Viper, good luck in the run. Sorry I can't be there to cheer you on in person, but chilling with some awesome runs at home today has been the next best thing. Nice. You guys are doing an amazing job. Have a great event." No problem. Right. right. Well, there's a, there is a bit more to this game other than shooting the zombies, but yeah, this is House of Dead Four. Look like I got some last minute practice in with uh, Super Mario, so. To all those that went to Super Mario, yeah, you got to see me finish this game, although it was a lot harder. So a lot of this comes from, it's a rail shooter, so there's a lot of, um, a lot of the uh, speed tech comes from killing the zombies quickly. Unfortunately, um, what we need to do in the process is we death abuse, so we use one credit, but it's on free play and it respawns our grenades. Um, so for example here, we'll, we could probably take a deliberate death, it really doesn't matter, um, and you'll see why that is. There isn't, isn't too much, because the House Dead games just don't really have much of a story anyway, it's fine. Um, so we're going to be going through here, and for those that are wondering about the story, um, because of the fact it's a, it, there is a story here somewhere, um, basically it's, well, apart from Rail Shooter, it's 2003, and it's three years after the second House of Dead game. Um, what else do I remember about the, uh, the game's plot? Because the game, like, the, the plot is terrible. Um, <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. You immediately get a game over there, so that's good. Um, but for the most part, three years after the outbreak in 2000 um, is... I can't remember. So it's some, there's something there. I don't know. Okay, so immediately into a boss fight here, and we're going to abuse the grenades here. We're going to have to shoot him, though. So he has several phases here. Now this guy might look tough, but he's really not too bad. And even if I do die, then I've got grenades that respawn, so it's a piece of cake. So I will have to shape the remote. This is some. This is a feature that you do have in the game as a, as a whole. Um, but yeah, nice and easy, nice and straightforward. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Come on. There we go. Got him. Okay. Thank God for that. I don't know which way we're going now. Oh, okay. We're going that way. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right, okay, so I got two grenades, which means we'll get a nice quick kill for him as the finale here, so this should be good. And I can still shoot him here. There we go. So the grenades take his, his whole health, and we're going to use the grenades a lot to make sure their health goes down for bosses. Nice and easy. And there we go. We got like that. There we go. There you go. And that's it, that's stage one done and dusted. Now, it's funny how we just death abuse and use grenades. And also, the, the grades that you get at the end, so these all depend on score. Uh, we'll be getting crap grades deliberately because of fact we'll be death abusing and using the grenades, so just be aware of that. Um, there is actually a bit more than this game. Um, so the House of Dead 4 actually had a Japanese uh, special port thing, which only had two stages, and brought back Magician. 
from the House of the Dead 1 and 2. And yeah, basically it's what it sounds like. So we're going to include that with this one as well. It is in the estimate, so which is nice and easy. So immediately we've got a bunch of guys here. And they want a hug, but we're not going to give them a hug. And also, yeah, the uh, the voice acting. This was the one thing that House of the Dead was known for. Really crappy voice acting. Um, I mean, if anyone ever played a House of Dead game and was like, yeah, it's known for great voice acting, they're lying. There really isn't any good voice acting, that is a fact. Um, but for what it is, for a rail shooter, these things were deliberately meant to drain your money. That's just how these games all worked. Um, now, there is the, the pass that we are taking, by the way, I've not mentioned, so you do get split paths. The pass that we are taking are deliberately to be as fast as possible. We're going to take care of them guys there, and then there we go. So there's a bunch of these like maggot things that come out the wall here, and we're going to use a grenade here just to make sure that we can get them here. So there we go. Okay, that completely missed. Well done, me. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to go down, down the stairs. And we've got two guys on the left. There we go. Nice and easy. And then behind us, we should have a bunch of guys behind us. There we go. Nice. Okay, that went down rather well. Uh, and then we've got one more grenade here, which I'm going to hopefully not use on these guys, providing they all spawn. There we go. Oh, it was close enough. Not too bad. And now we would deliberately take a death here. So, there you go. Like that. So we're going to kill those guys and take a death straight away. Um, I could, if I so desired, I could actually use grenades there, but I'm rather, I'd rather not. And, nice. So we're going to get rid of these guys. Also, the uh, the big guys there, they charge at you, so you do have to be careful. So nice, we've got some score. And kill them guys straight away as soon as you get through there. Now, there is one set of guys here, which we're going to use the death abuse on the second. Um, well, not quite, actually. So we're going to get these guys here and do that. Now, the zombies can push you back. This is one of the, the key features with this. The zombies can actually push you back. So I'm going to deliberately get a death there. If I take more than one death, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're on free play here. So there is an alternate um, timeline thing that you can do uh, by basically... If I get this right, okay, that's fine. There is a, an alternate route that you can take by getting it right. There we go. Also, yeah, the sound just plays like 100 times over. So there you go. Also. This guy's going to get us up, he's going to get up, and down he goes, straight away. There's a bunch of cutscenes, obviously we're going to skip them, just like mad. And I also threw a friggin' grenade, which I didn't mean to. There we go, that shuts that. Also, ready? Bunch of guys go up, what goes up, must come down, bye! And they're gone. That's the end of that. Also, these guys, for some reason, are not very clever. They carry gas bottles, you shoot the gas bottles, they blow up, nice and easy. Um, and then obviously we've got these guys here. So, just a quick warning right now, if anyone's arachnophobic, I mean I am, but I'm playing the game so I find it satisfying. Uh, if you're arachnophobic, look away now for like the next minute or so. Uh, the reason why, this boss is, well, you'll see. I, I mean, I'll just give it away, it's arachnophobia. There we go. So, this thing will deliberately keep trying to kill you. Um, and obviously, yeah, not great. There we go. Nice and easy. Down it goes. Now, at this point, you can shoot it if you so desire. But now it's like, this bit here is completely random, whether it's whether the spiders will be in a good pattern or not. Um, I think I got a really fast cyclone too, that's good. So you can actually shoot it as it's going up, and as you can see, I'm taking damage off it. Up until a certain point, uh, where it's like, okay, it's not being destroyed or anything like that. So you can actually shoot this thing here. Um, unfortunately, it does. I don't know why, but you, you can't shoot if like a specific period. It's like got invulnerability frames, I guess. Oh, there we go. So this thing likes to do this with its legs, where it's like, yeah, you can tell it, it's deliberately trying to block my attacks. There we go. Nice. And then that's the end of the result too. Also, the noise stuck. Nice. Hey, sixty-nine percent. Nice. Deliberate or not, that was perfect. Um, you'll constantly hear us saying, you shouldn't be having this much trouble, but the truth be told is we're speed running. We don't care about the grades, it's fine. Um, so with chapter two finished, we've now gone through, we've come out onto a uh, MC train track. And as a result, we've now got a bunch of these zombies, which are like very weak because they're very thin and everything. 
So we've got inside a train station now. You're wondering like where the store is. I said, I, I, the, you know, I could explain the story if I so desire, but there's not really much of a plot. There's just there's zombies. The world's infected. What else do you want me to say? That's it. <laughs> Make sure we get these guys. Nice. And now I can get these guys here. If I throw a grenade. Well, okay, that didn't do too bad. And there we go. Yep, so then there should be two guys up here. There we are, nice. We got him. Now one, these guys should spawn. There we are, like that. So again, with the PlayStation Move, it's a lot easier than using a controller because with a controller, I mean, you can use a controller for this, by the way, but using the PlayStation Move, it's, it feels a bit more accurate and everything like that. And obviously I had to get the, the machine gun thing. Now we are going to deliberately wait for this guy to pull us in here and then we're going to shoot him there. Because we're going to go through here and this is a faster way to get to the end of the level, as I said. So, we're actually going to deliberately get hurt here. Um, now, this guy is sat in the toilet and apparently two zombies fitting in one room. Definitely not suspicious whatsoever. Maybe they were secret lovers, who knows. Anyway, so we get to kill these guys and then nice and easy. So, at some point here, I need to take a death. I don't know when I'm going to take a death, but it'll be somewhere. So, eventually I'll take one. Um, just to kind of quickly mention though, I'm pretty sure a lot of people ever play House of the Dead. If you haven't, then you must have been living under the rock for like the last 20 years. And yeah, the series has kind of stagnated over recent years. The last one that was, oh, so I usually use a grenade there, but just spray them like that. Um, the series started in 1996, 95, I think. Um, we, we just use speedrun strats. That's how, you, that's how you fight this man. You just spray. It works. This this actually works as well. And he's going to try and guddle us, but I'm not letting that happen. So the easiest way to get um, to get hurt on this one is... There we go. You'll see a bunch of guys in a second. There we go. Like that. So the three grenades are going to come in useful here. Nice. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so the series started in 1995, 96. It stagnated over a couple of years. This came out in 2005, and I think the next one was Overkill. And then, I think it was, what's the next one? Scarlet Dawn, I think, which came out a couple of years ago. Also, this thing with dual chainsaws is now gonna follow us. Now, I'm not gonna use my grenades on this because you can blow the train out if you so desire. Um, but honestly, it's like, yeah, don't bother. There we go. So this is the boss that will take your money a lot. If you play the arcade version, it takes your money off you by a lot. Uh, mainly because of how hard it is on the medium difficulty. Obviously, skilled players will, will make it through without really dying. Obviously, we're speedrunning this, and it's the PS3 version, so it's not too bad. So I'm going to make sure this is not on. There we go. Nice. So we took a good chunk of his health out. So now we get these little mini boss fights here, like this. And you can just do that. So that one's not too bad. That one's quite easy. There's one where he goes on the left-hand side, one where he goes on the right-hand side. They're a bit more tricky to do, like right now. So getting this is a bit difficult to see because obviously his, his blade is coming at you and obviously if he gets to... So the thing is, because it's rail shooter, it keeps going even, even after he's not going to hit you. It's quite funny, to be honest. There we go. There we go. Like that. So by now, he's, he should be retreating. It should go to the next phase. Obviously, the game doesn't do that. Um, the game still runs to its cycle. So we've got one more where now he's going to try and kill us one last time. We're in the final carriage here. And now he's landed in here. And you can actually start shooting him a few frames early. Now, if you want to, you can throw a grenade at him like that. Because that will wipe out a lot of his health. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure... There we are. So you can easily use grenades. And I'm also going to throw a grenade as well. I'll throw the last grenade. Why not? You refill your grenades as well at the start of the next stage too. So it's not too bad. Also, I'm getting seized. This is good? Not good? I don't have a clue. I can't remember. Um, obviously, it goes up to B, A, and I think S is like the best one. Obviously, we're going to skip all cutscenes. So like I said, the story just doesn't exist. But it's fine. So we're in chapter four here. So now we've got out of the subway and we're now into, I think, like the shopping district or something like that. Also, what? 
What the hell were these guys doing with the mannequin? I don't really want to question that, to be honest. And you do actually, sh you should actually close this quickly. Just so you get this one zombie. Also, here comes Batman, and he's dead. And get rid of him there, get rid of a few of these guys. So the, the big guys that charge at you are pretty Im impressive that they charge at you, like, as much as they do. So it turns out that she remembers this a lot. I mean, this is your typical shopping day out. I'm not sure about you, but I think I'd spend a good day out at shopping if it involved killing zombies. I don't see why not. I mean, I don't know about you, but I like shooting zombies, so... There you go. I think that missed. Yeah, it did. It missed. Nice. Okay. Nice. So we're going to get rid of these here. And we're going to throw this grenade here. And that will get rid of these guys here. We've got one more bit here. Now, most of this... Um, one thing I haven't mentioned is most of this stage is basically a massive boss fight. So you'll see now here. This one that's actually... So this guy is impossible. So you basically... There you go. He's got better... There's them j jiggle physics, though. Yeah, there's some, there's some j jiggle physics. Yeah. He really likes jiggling his stuff, doesn't he? Hmm. Anyhow, this is an 18 plus, right? So this works. Anyway, as I was saying... Yeah, so he does have... He, he's basically invulnerable, this guy, but you have to shoot his health bar regardless and drain his health bar. Um... So, the thing is, with this one, it's like, yeah, there's a, you know, there's not too much to it, but like I said, he's inv invincible. There we go. Now he's got the new roly-poly, and he's going to go backwards. Now, here's the fun one. So, he's going to turn around now, and he's going to do it backwards, but when you shoot him, he rolls forwards. I'm pretty sure that's not how physics work, but just watch. You'll see what I mean. Right, so he's rolling backwards, yeah? Okay, fine. And now he's rolling forwards. I, I just... Would he not stop? Would he still roll back? I don't get it. Still roll backwards. So you can shoot him during this. It's great. Apparently James doesn't know what a clock is. All right, let's use that. Whatever that is. It's like, that's a clock, James. It's great. They tell time and everything. There we go. Okay, so there is still a few zombies around and everything like that. This level is more a case of most of it's a boss fight. But the zombies essentially are trying to remind you, oh, hey, you know, this is still a stage, right? There's still zombies. You know, just in case you forgot. There we go. So that's his first phase. There we are. There we are. Can he come up? There we are. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. There we are. So that bell you can shoot over and over. I think you get, like, 20 hits on it or something. So I'm going to shoot that there as well, so I can get the... Let's go. There we go. We got that. And then, to defeat this guy, we need to shake this. Well, shake the controller. There we go. And that's it. So that's apparently how you move it. And then, we're going to just skip that, like that. Again, skipping crucial cutscenes to the story here. It's not too bad. When do we get that time? Another C. Now I'm getting good at this. It's like a practice for this. Hmm. C. Not bad. But yeah, stage four done. We've got two more stages to go. Now, stage five actually has... Oh, this is a bit of a long one for some reason. So, stage five, which is called Reunion. Um, the music here, this is very similar to the House of Dead 2 because the fact that this is actually a remix of the House of Dead 2 music um, when you actually head towards Goldman's headquarters. So, as I said, so the way that the story goes is in 1998, I think it's December 13th, 1998, um, Dr. Curian has basically a bunch of creatures in his lab. And these creatures are what you go up against in the first House of the Dead game. The second game is 2000. The outbreak has now moved. It's moved out of Dr. Curian's mansion. Um, and it has moved into... I think it is 19... What is it? It's not 19. It's moved out into two, in 2000. It's gone into Europe and spread into Europe. 2003, the outbreak continues, which is where House of Dead 4 comes in. Uh, also, you shoot him and you don't have to deal with the enemies, so that's a skip. It's nice and easy. Also, these guys here are exceedingly annoying for some reason. I'm going to get grenades there. Why not? So, that guy apparently is like, got no tickets, it's fine. And we've got a truck. There we go, I'm going to avoid that. Nice and easy. So, fun fact, we're going to come back to this stage um, afterwards. So, 
After the game's finished, like I said, we have the special arcade port of House of Dead 4. Um, as, as I said, I think it was only available in Japan. Um, and that basically takes place after the main game, so you're going to get two for the price of one here. Uh, also, you can shoot this guy here. This is why zombies should never drive. There you go. So unfortunately, the sound effects play all at once um, if you've got a bunch of zombies. There we go. So we've got to get him here. Avoid him here. Nice. I think I didn't quite get the grenade, but oh well. There we are. We didn't do too bad there. Got through them. Nice. But yeah, um, Cherry, you got anything you want to read? Always. Go for it. All right, so we do have $25 from Helling Mad Mike. Pew, 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 reload. Pew, 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 reload, reload, reload. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Everyone out again. I was just going to say, look at Mike, it's Robocop, by the way. <laughs> anyway, carry on. <laughs> nah, uh, the. the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. You interrupted me before a uh, hashtag too soon. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Alright. Yeah, go for it. Have you got anything else you want to mention? Right. Yeah, these. A lot of these were from uh, Josh's Grand Theft Auto run. Uh, yeah, so apologies for taking such a long time. Uh, I do have a lot of donations here for one uh, per wee host. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, I can just scroll and see here. Uh, I mean, I've got a focus anyway, so it's fine. All right. <laughs> we do have a train that started during that run uh, entitled Dinner Gang, uh, <laughs> where a group of people went to a restaurant called The Block uh, and started a <laughs> a donation train for upgrade to titan thrice uh so i will just read off as many of those as possible uh so we have five dollars from statatar watching the stream from block hashtag dinner gang uh ten dollars from planks tight tight winky face in parentheses dinner gang uh ten dollars from nanaki emi din dinner gang from the block uh five dollars from yuniko yokai good evening from block uh, $25 from Pollister. A dinner gang is here. We convinced the restaurant to put the stream on their TV. So, no pressure, Josh. Putting this money towards the new Titan thrice incentive. <laughs> uh, $5 from Fireman Sam, apparently. Uh, dinner gang. <laughs> also, there's a lot of uh, metal zombies here. I'm just going to say that now. These guys are a bit more tougher to take down. And I'm going to deliberately let these guys attack me. Like that. Just because of the fact we didn't mean to get the extra lives, so that's good. Um, oh, no, I'll get rid of them guys all in one go. There we go. Not going to get the extra life because extra life is too slow. So we're going to keep this going. I'm going to get rid of these guys pretty quick, hopefully. That should be nice. I see how it goes. Right, okay, so we've got one more set of guys here that are coming out, and I'm hopefully going to get them all in one go. No, nope, not quite. Close enough. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so we've got eight guys that come out of here. Now, if you get to this point without getting hit once, I think it is, um, then you're able to unlock, like, a secret thing or other. I forget what it actually is. There you go. Um, you're able to unlock a secret room, and I always wonder why there was such a thing exist. So these are cutscenes that I can't skip, um, so we're going to see about that. Also, we've now got the final boss in the game, which is called the, the World. So this guy has two phases, and he's extremely weak. And we're also going to attack anything that he's got. We're going to basically take take him to church. Oh, now I'll take you to school, sir. So I have to make sure I hit this. There we go. And if I get frozen, it's fine. I don't die or anything like that. So not too bad. There we go. Damn, look how much life he's got. Are you kidding me? He's like literally one... I could breathe on him and he, and he died. He's got nothing left. Okay. There we are. Right. That's his first phase done. I should have got him there, but oh well. Doesn't matter. So he dies. Spoiler No, he doesn't. He's got a second phase. Because of course he freaking does. So, time would normally be coming up for when this is finished. 
There we are, nice. Yes, the time's normally coming up when I've defeated him. However, as I said, the special is going to be included, so I'm not going to include time on this one. There we go. Nice. Come on. Okay, he's not quite dead. He's literally a stone's throw away. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right, okay, so what was that? I think that was PB, because it's 24.53, I think, for the main game. So that's like the main game done. So that's the end of the main game, but there's more. Don't worry. And I'm even going to skip, because, again, because it's the end of the game, I'm going to skip it as well, because we're trying to move on to the next part of the game as well. But this is the one last thing you get. We do have multiple endings. I'll see what, which one we ah, yes, get. There is one thing I forgot. The human race has not Can't been remember. eliminated. No, I don't. Yeah, okay, that's the standard ending. There is many endings. There's a bad ending which actually has him sh turn around and show his eyes. So the reason why it says the story continues in the House of Dead 3 is because the House of Dead 3 takes place 16 years afterwards. So if you play the first, the second, the fourth, then the third, the story makes sense. Um, but yeah, there you go. And what do we got? Rank 6. Standard agent. Yeah, I'm, I'm standard. Hey, I got told off by the game. Nice. Apparently I suck. Um, also, we're going to go with this. Again, this is all included in the estimate, so don't worry about it. It's fine. And you get your game over as well. And then we're going to move on to special. So whilst I'm doing that, Cherry, if you got anything you want to mention, go for it. Whilst I'm moving into the next one. All right. Sure. We do have $7 from Potato saying, Potato. Potato. Okay. Uh, by, uh, we have $5.50 from a different Potato. You will never believe what they said. Potato? <laughs> Perhaps. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. F uh, Twenty-five dollars from Style Speedruns and Charity sounds great. <laughs> All right. These. This was from Josh's Thank run you. during the auto scroller. Ten dollars from Calliope. Auto scroller time. Donation time. Hi Cherry. Hi. Hello. Hi UKSG. I hope you all are having a great time, and that will and that will join you again in the future. Only ten dollars more until we pet a doggo, which w so that was for the turnip boy commits tax evasion. Pet the orange dog, which we have met. Nice. All good. Oh yeah. So here's the thing. So after the end of the fourth game, which I'm not going to spoil, um, Kate runs into G, who's one of the main characters from the original games. Um, I'm also going to use my grenades up here. But these guys still spawn. Like Even though I just used two grenades and eliminated most of them, these guys still spawn. Which is easy enough. Also, one guy here. Apparently. Okay, right, we got the grenades back, at least. I got another grenade. Sweet. Also, apparently zombies can't drive. I think we established that already. So here we go. Nice. Any more? Oh yeah, there's more. I forget. Of course there's more. But wait, there's more. Okay, yeah. So these guys here, the, the big guys that look like the Hulk, yeah, they're a bit on the tough side, as you might imagine. I find it funny how he, how he disses her, just based on her driving. It's like, you know, glad you're shooting's better than you're driving. So we're going to get rid of these guys here. So it is worth mentioning, so this, as I said before, this is two stages all together. Comes to about six minutes, give or take. I think we'll easily be underestimate, to be honest. Um, the main thing about, about this one is that there's a boss fight with Magician, who you may remember if you play the House of Dead games. Um, he's like one of the big antagonists of the House of Dead franchise, so yeah. So we get to visit him. Nice, just about got it with two seconds left. Nice. I didn't quite get the boss, but it doesn't matter. So here's the thing. Remember in the actual game, it was a case of we used the grenades for... Yeah, here we go. Also, I like how he's like, huh? Um, this guy usually goes down pretty easy with grenades on the main game. But on this one, he's toughened up. So even on the very easy difficulty, he's still pretty tough. Also, this is what I found funny. They immediately start running into this. It's like, yeah, this is, this is a thing, right? There we go. Okay, so that's one of his phases, which should be easy enough. So now it's a case of he'll show up in a second. And whether he kills us or not, I don't know. Nice, okay, so 
This one may work. I'll find out if this works or not. Okay, yeah, not quite. I'm just gonna throw grenades. There we go. Nice, okay, that's fine. So that's end of stage one. And we've got the next stage to go. Like I said, these one, this one's pretty quick. I believe the record for any percent, the regular game is 22 minutes something, 22 minutes 18 or something. Um, special's about four minutes, it's ridiculous. So this is an entirely new area. Um, so we're in some sort of laboratory. Now again, this is not accessible in the regular game, so chances are, unless you've played, uh, unless you've got arcade emulation, so this guy I know he's going to get in the way anyway. But if you, uh, but you can play this on emulation as I said. Um, also, them guys with the, uh, the conductor uniforms we'll call it, they are a pain. If I get this correct, I can, there we go, nice. I got all four in one go, sweet. Ooh. Can I, can I get the grenade? No, I can't. Damn it. Never mind. I was hoping I might be able to get the grenade. Never mind. Me being a smart ass. Nice. Okay, I don't need lives anyway. It's fine. So these guys are relatively straightforward. I always take out the guy holding the, the door for some reason because I'm like, yeah, you know what? Why not? There we go. So these guys will obviously come out of every orifice that they need to. Now, the main thing here is that these guys on the floor will be a pain. You can use the grenade to get rid of them fast, but then this happens where it's like three kills, basically. There we go. Nice. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Nice and easy. Okay. You guys are getting annoying. That's fine. Right. I don't have any grenades here. That's fine. Okay, yeah, I failed that, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. That's a quick time event. So this is this is the magician. So you can actually shoot him. This is um, it can be very on, on the very tricky side here. Now I didn't know this. I didn't realize that you can. I'll probably die a few times here. Just saying now. So he will get on my nerves here. It, it just does. It is just one of the harder fights. It's fine anyway. We've got free play. So we're good. We're good. It doesn't matter how bad I suck at this. It's fine. We can we can deliberately suck. I'm not throwing a run here. There we are. So time will be coming up when basically when I defeated him. Nice. Um, time, I think. Time. We've only got one shot. <laughs> and we got the good ending. Yes. Even better. But yeah, nothing can erase this pain. But it does. Now, this is the thing that I don't get. So, this is supposed to be the good ending. I'll put you out of your misery. And also, yeah, really crap voice acting, obviously. Um, this bit. Let's go. Yeah. Where? We don't want to keep everyone waiting. The fight's about to begin. I don't know what fight they're on about because you go outside. Where did all the zombies go? What fight? The, a fight against fresh air? What? What's the fight for? And then the end. No, now if you don't destroy the um, the Pandora's box or whatever the hell it is that he, that he lifts up, you get the bad ending. So the bad ending is essentially he can distribute the um, Master Agent. Yes. Um, like he can distribute um, himself and he can create clones of he himself and um, yeah, and obviously get a game over screen. But um, yeah, so that was House of Dead 4 with the PlayStation Move gun thing. Um, would highly recommend playing it with this if you play it on PS3. Obviously, you can emulate it if you wish to do so with arcade emulation. I do believe they have split the boards between PS3 and emulation. Um, but yeah, completely optional whichever way you want to do it. And as well, yeah, you get the, uh, the roll. But I think that's going to be about it from my side. So... Uh, I'll hand it back over to Cherry. All, all yours. All right, thank you, Viper. That was a very interesting uh, showcase there. All right, so the next run of the event is going to be uh, Dead Rising with Sweet Ola.